Stephanie with the Simply Special Ed blog and today I'm going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth switch like this to your iPad. This one's called a Blue 2. I like it a lot. It's by Ablenet. You can get it on their website. There's also, I think you can, when I got this one it was actually a listing on Amazon so sometimes they have them on Amazon. One of the best parts about this is that on this side it has these holes right here and it says side one, side two. That means that you can connect um, another kind of switch to it, which is really cool. I'll show you that later. Right now, let me show you how to access the accessibility options. So on your iPad, you're going to click settings and I'm already there, but um, we'll come back over here and we'll go to accessibility. Then you want to go to switch control and you're gonna turn it, or well, you're gonna turn switch control on if you actually want the entire iPad to be used as a switch, but we're just gonna pair a switch right now. So you need to add your Bluetooth device. On the side of this, it has a button that says pair. It's the top one right here. So just like with any other device, you're going to hold it down and it immediately shows up and you're just going to click Bluetooth and wait for it to do its thing, it's connected. Now your switch isn't gonna work yet right away, so you have to go back to accessibility and you have to go back to switch control and then you need to go to switches. Because it's connected but it doesn't necessarily know that you have one yet. So you're gonna go to switches, add new switch, external, and you're going to push the side one which is the white one and it's set up. So I'm going to name it switch one, switch one. I'm going to save it and it'll be saved as a profile and now it'll work with an activity. So let me show you that. This is one of my favorite apps. My students love this app. It's called sensory room by inclusive technologies. It's on my list. So you always want to make sure you enable your switch settings on your apps. This one's really easy. And then play. Ooh. And then I can push it here. Another cool thing, like I said, is this switch allows you to connect another switch to it, like this one. So I'm going to put it on its side right here and I'm going to find the little port that says switch one. I'm going to plug it in and now I can push this switch to activate it. And that is how you set up a Bluetooth switch with an iPad. Have a great day!